Welcome, viewers, to another new Let's Play. This Let's Play is going to be a B. Bouton, B. Bouton, B. Button run of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's, uh, sorry for the game pause there, viewers. I'm fidgeting around with the audio. Anyway, that's, you know what, fuck it, I'm not going to go on through and explain this again. This is the second time we've tried recording. I say we because I'm joined with someone else. All that Kuma. Wait up, y'all. Alright, so I already got a file made because of that last attempt. Uh... <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, so sitting through this for a third time, we're going to try this once again. Now, what I'm going to be doing is getting out of the Kukiri Forest without the sword and going all the way up through the Dodongo Caverns. So that won't be too terribly hard. The only annoying part of this whole matter is getting the sword and the Deku, not the sword, the shield and the Deku stick upgraded. And Deku nuts, because you kind of have to have nuts to get out of here without the sword. <sighs> oh, what the fuck is going on with my computer? Uh, maybe it hates you. Um... Yeah, I don't even know what's going on right now. Um... <laughs> what? I'm getting, like, glitchy. Everything is bad. Um... <laughs> Oh, wait, it's good now. <laughs> um, I'm not going to question that. I'm just going to accept that. Now, for some reason, we have encountered a problem with this game on the ROM. Yes, I'm using a ROM at the moment. The reason why I'm using it a ROM, I have to listen for the glitch to get my way out of the Fury Forest, and y'all will see why soon enough. But... I can't do that on a capture card because there's no audio coming from it. But, uh, for some reason, whenever you enter and leave the Lost Woods, the game crashes. So, yeah. I think I've figured out a way around this where I should only have to save quits and that'll plop me back into the Lynx house. Mido! I get ready to hear me say shut the fuck up, Navi, a lot of times. Cause let's be honest here, it's Navi. She deserves it. She, she deserves it, and she interrupted me like 20 times that last time we tried to record this. Pretty much. She killed every story we had going. So, I'm done. Tried her, to kill her. every story that we had going. True that. True that. Now, try to avoid hitting C up at all costs once you get woken up, because it will take Nobby forever to actually get around to trying to bother you again. And in order to do the glitch, we would have to talk to Nobby at a specific point. Time being, we just gotta get the fuck up and get moving. You know yeah, what? basically just ignore Free that. Jacob like Tree can go fuck himself. He had you, the most annoying character, probably second only to Thee from Skyward Sword, wake me yeah. up while I was fucking sleeping. The great Deku can wait. True that, true that. I think that's probably why Wing kills him. He just, like, realizes that. See ya, Saria. I don't give a shit about you. Alright, so how I'm gonna get the rupees that I need, the quickest way I've found is while running over here, make sure to, of course, pick up the five bit of rupee up here, get the two rupees in the shrubberies. And just basically go back and forth between Mido's house and the shop. 
You'll collect the 80 rupees quick enough. Shut up, Nobby. And yeah, rinse your feet. Yeah. Shut up, random bitch hanging out on top of the shop. I don't care. I already know how to do all of this stuff. Sorry, once again, for the low frame rates. It's kind of annoying to deal with this on a ROM, but this is going to be the only way I can capture this footage. Not too bad. Of course, yeah. Mido had 10 rupees just sitting in his house, but that don't matter nothing. Yeah. Whatever. All the story is we got some money, we got the cash, almost got the cash. Almost got the shield, then we're gonna get the money to go get the Deku sticks, then a little bit more money to pick up some Deku nuts, because you do actually have to have Deku nuts to get out of the who carry forest by way of glitch, but that's not too terribly much, probably 10 rupees at most. Yeah, just keep on doing this. Rather uninspiring commentary, but what do you expect? We've run through almost all of our <clears throat> stories, I'm willing to bet, for the time being, and it's kind of monotonous. Yeah. You can only say so much in, like, the crappy town of... Linkdom. I don't remember its name. The crappy <laughs> town of Linkdom. Linkdom. Kokiri Linkdom. Village, that's it. There you go. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know how to equip a goddamn shield. <laughs> Thanks, Tips. <clears throat> Next time on Rage Armor's Tips and Tricks, we tell you how to equip a shield. Oh, 15 rupees. Oh, man. Whew. So much more expensive. I mean, they're gonna be so fucking rich once they get that 15 rupees. They can buy like a whole nother tree stone. That'd be great. I actually like the uh, creepypasta story that someone did on this game. It was like Daybreak or something like that, and it was like a creepy alternate version of how Link ended up in Kukiri Forest. I liked it. Right, so let's get those damn Deku nuts. You only need one. What do you fucking do? Do, 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 do? Now I will probably break the fourth wall here and use the Use the, uh, use my mouse so that way I can set a save state. But that's mainly because if the, uh, if I don't have to restart the Project 64 here, basically just reload that save state and get out of the computer, uh, the Lost Woods, then I'll do that, because why go through the annoyance of restarting the entire ROM? But if I Remember, do, we, it's just we can, only, we can only re-record this part so many times. Right? Before one of us gets annoyed and go, you know what, fuck this. Ray Drummer, you take care of this later, I'm done. Screw it. Go, go fuck yourself. I will angrily decline this guy, Paul. Do I somehow imagine you do- I somehow imagine somebody angrily declining a Skype call by <laughs> just smashing the right button. Like, yep. No! I don't want to Skype. Yeah, you gotta go full out and like slam it on the table too. <laughs> no, no, no. Not only that. Slamming it on the table, rip, smashing the mouse while doing it, but also throwing your computer out of the third story window. <laughs> That's how I... you properly angrily decline a Skype call. Uh, that sounds like quite possibly the greatest vine ever. I would do that, except I don't have the money to buy a new laptop. <laughs> Fuck you, Skull Kid. You're gonna make- you are gonna be the premise of my favorite game- well, second favorite game in existence. First favorite game in the Zelda timeline. But still, fuck you. 
You're not relevant yet. Hey, you. Yes, you surrender. Now give me my goddamn Seku stick upgrades. 40 rupees. And we can now hold 20 Deku sticks. And like any upgrade you get, it auto fills your Deku sticks. Now then, shut up, Nobby. We're working on it. So, I actually don't know what the glitch is, so what's the kind of like steps towards doing this glitch? Well, you'll see it here really soon. It's The reason why I say you need to get a shield is so that way you can listen for the sound it makes. Because the camera is going to be locked in one spot, and you got to find your way out of the Kukiri Forest. And that is a hell of a lot easier said than done. Okay, set it on that. Save. Also, just in oh. case, also make a fucking save here. There we go. You plan double backup. Six. Not bad. And nah. crash. Saw that one coming. Yeah. <laughs> but let's see if we can just restore the state. Uh. Uh. Come on. Restore Please. the state. Restore Please. it, buddy. Fine. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Move it down slightly. Let's Come on, game. Reset the game then. And since I made sure to save. You should be set. Hopefully. Theoretically. Da -da -da -da. Success! Yeah! I have my Deku sticks. Oh, and Deku nuts. And there's Saria. And there is a lot of fucking lag. Alright, so I'm gonna give a quick briefing on how you're supposed to do this. You gotta get from the hole up here down to the exit over there, all with the camera locked on the hole. And that is very difficult to do without sound, and even with sound, it's difficult to do. Shut up, Nobby. Actually, don't shut up, Nobby. We're gonna be using you in a second. Alright, so... There we go. Crawl just far enough forwards to where you hear the... Hey, listen! There we go. Crawl just far enough forwards to where you hear the boulder rolling around, and once... Just start backing up. Once you get out of there, just keep hitting C up until Nobby talks, and once... Navi talks, just hit C down or wherever you've got the Deku Nuts on, and you'll toss a Deku Nut. Now you can move around freely! <laughs> Screw you, Katane! <laughs> That's I'm gonna have to dope. turn up my volume. That's actually pretty dope. <laughs> Get ready for an hour of this! Day 3 of Backpedal. Now, there is a way you can briefly bring up the map, but you basically gotta climb up onto a fence or something in order to do it. Well, I'm up on a fence. Let's see the. Did you just pop back see? in the screen? Nope. Yeah. Oh. It briefly oh. pops back into the screen. Come on. Whenever you go down a ledge. I think I might have got... It. I'm moving further away. Yeah, I'm definitely moving further away. So now I just gotta feel around for the damn exits. Booyah! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So much fucking yes! <laughs> I actually got that a lot quicker than what I thought I would. 
The first time I tried this, it took me two hours to find it. <laughs> now that right there, that would make a pretty interesting video. <laughs> so much fucking yes. Fuck you, the Great Deku Tree, and I am gonna be absolutely livid if this freezes once we get out of here. The Ocarina. Best I find it ever. amazing how Link is the only character in existence who gets an item. It's like, oh, fucking hell, the yes. This is so mine. <laughs> here you go. Here comes the best part ever. For anyone who watches Sandy, not included, you're going to know exactly why. Link, I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh, Lyle. Oh, Lyle, we miss you so. Lyle McDoucheback. Yes, and it didn't fucking crash! So much awesome! Dude, don't jinx it. Dude, don't jinx it. We're getting a lot of jumpiness, but fuck that, it didn't crash. Woo! This oh, is yeah. so orgasmically delicious, it's awesome. <laughs> so, I'm gonna make a save. Double save. Triple Just save. Oh. And look at that! Yes. The save state is right there. Now to talk to the owl that, that has raped all of our childhoods. Hello, Zabora Gabora. You fucking dick wagon. Gaming's biggest doucher. You. So much lag. But oh goddamn well. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. Go oh, straight right, I forgot okay. you can just press B and it's. Dude, yes, dude, yes! I got all of that! Now shut up! I forgot you could just press B to skip through all of his fucking text. Fuck you, Owl. Fuck you. <laughs> now, a lot of people advise doing side hopping to get to the castle town, but I just don't find that to speed things up as... Pe people believe that it speeds things up really fast, getting from the Kukiri Forest to the castle town, but I just... It, I've just never been able to get to Castletown without the sun going down first. Mm -hmm. Which is perfectly okay. We can, we got out of the fucking Kukiri Forest without the sword. We can deal with waiting on the gates to come back down. Find it funny how the time is permanently stopped in Kukiri Forest. Like... It's always predetermined that you come out at midday once you get out of the Kukiri Forest, no matter how long you took to get out of there. Yeah. Yeah. I Nintendo love it when game. they do that. I fucking love it when they do that. When they spawn- see, they're spawning under the water and water automatically kills them. I find that hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Keep suiciding. You just keep that up. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Now there's actually a bit of an Easter egg with these guys, and any mob that'll spawn in consistently. If you kill, I believe about ten of these guys, a giant one will spawn, and it's guaranteed to drop five rupees if you kill it. Oh snap! Totally worth it. <laughs> But, uh... Hey, asshole! Deku Nut! Deku Nut again! <laughs> I'm throwing it into the wall instead of at them! I can't even see anymore, man. My screen's just, like, lagging like crazy. 
Yeah, so is mine. I just see like once in a while the skeletons just spawning in the water and dying. It's great. Once the gate comes down and I get up onto the top of it, I'm gonna take a refreshing pause. Okay. Now that I'm up on top of this, I'm gonna go on and take a quick refreshing pause. See y'all in a few minutes.